Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yehuda and the truth. Um, tonight we are continuing on with I am Yehuda, that is my name. Um, we are on what's the real name of the Mashiach? The invented name J-E-S-U-S -S, was first seen in print <clears throat> in the second printing of the K King James Version. The KJV is a Catholic translation as the king was baptized as an, as an infant in an Anglican Catholic ceremony. They considered Tyndale's translation a Protestant version, as well as the Geneva translation. They banned all unauthorized versions for, from the realm, and only allowed the printed authorized version. <clears throat> the original 1611 version used in Latin Vulgate's IESV, <clears throat> a Christogram with a line under it, meaning it represented a name, but was not the name. It had to be interpreted by a mystagogue to be understood. Christograms used in other manuscripts were IC-XC, IES, IHS, i.e. Seuss, and uh, um, Ixthus, I-X-T-H-U-S. One is the truth. The other is tradition. So we have to choose. Is the name of the Mashiach, J-E-S-U-S, -S, or Yahushua? That is our next section in this book. Yahushua means Yah is our deliverer <clears throat> from Hebrew. But this is only partially translated. The Yah is yet to be revealed to us because Yah can mean I am. <clears throat> we now realize that Yahusha is a revelation. I am your deliverer. <clears throat> the I am your comes from Yahu. And the deliverer comes from Shah, the suffix modifier. The root, Yasha, is found in the Shah and Shua suffixes and means help, rescue, save, deliverance, or salvation. This suffix is found in the name Alisha or Alisha. The root is used in the name of the prophet Yasha Yahu, a.k.a. Isaiah. <clears throat> the Talmud refers to Yahusha as Yeshu, an acronym they understand to represent the words Yamak Shmo Yuzikro. May his name be blotted out. Because Yahusha is based on the name Yahuwah, it was avoided by copyists. The Septuagint used the form I-E-S-U in Greek to reverse transliterate J-E-S-U-S. -S. The closest Hebrew name is E-S-U, Esu, meaning er, the name of the man known as Esau. I-E-S-O-U, or I-E-S-U, <clears throat> became I-E-S-U in Latin, and for 1,200 years was believed to be their expistos, or Christos, or Christos is how it's spelled. The Latin Vulgate and first KJV wrote the letters I-E-S-V <clears throat> in place of the name Yahusha. Greek has no sound for sh, the S-H sound. So it's impossible for Greek to properly transliterate the name Yahusha. I.E. Zeus makes the sound for Hail Zeus in Greek. To say Hey Zeus or Hey, hey Zeus in, in Hebrew would mean the horse. Um, I've also seen it, um, uh, the J-E-S-U-S, -S, um, means earth pig in Hebrew, or Jesus. <clears throat> Since there was no letter J on planet Earth, 
until around 1530 CE, the name J-E-S-U-S is therefore a hoax, a stand-in imposter or interloper. <clears throat> to say we speak English isn't a defense of anything, since the only name given in which there is deliverance is a Hebrew name, not an English one, Acts 4.12. J-E-S-U-S isn't an English word. It's a construction based on a theonym. I-E-S-V is the Latinized form of the Greek I-E-S-U-S, which developed into J-E-S-U-S. Yahuwah does not change, so the name of our Mashiach would not undergo alterations over time. Does your name change? No, my name doesn't change. I know that. <clears throat> So the name of, okay, sorry. It was tampered with by an enemy. A spirit of anti-Messiah will defend the name J-E-S-U-S. Anti-Messiah will not come in the name Yahusha. Here is why. I am Yahuwah, that is my name. And my esteem I do not give to another. Nor my praise to idols. Yasha Yahu 42.8 Scholars know how to determine the real name of the Mashiach of Yashara, but they hesitate because tradition would be challenged. The evidence reveals that the person known as Joshua <coughs> in the scriptures has exactly the same Hebrew name as the Mashiach because both the Mashiach and the successor of Moshe are identical in Greek i.e. Seuss. The name of the Mashiach is not Greek. It's Hebrew. The name has a meaning in Hebrew, yet J-E-S-U-S or J-E-Z-U-S, if in Yugoslavia, is promoted by the Society of I-E-S-V, the Jesuits, to be valid based solely upon Greek, not Hebrew. This study should set the record straight because we are looking to the Hebrew to determine the true name. The intermediate languages have only mutilated the original for us <clears throat> and are not legitimate sources to build a case. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Casuistry is a Jesuit tactic employed to sway opinions or to build a case that is intentionally meant to mislead or guide you off the narrow way. Casuistry, spacious or excessively subtle reasoning intended to rationalize or mislead you. Next, we'll investigate the Hebrew spelling found in scripture. Yahusha found 216 times in the Tanakh. The Mashiach's name is found 219 times in the Tanakh in three spelling variations. <clears throat> in 216 of these, we see yod he u shin a n Yahusha, the son of Nun, a leader of the tribe Aphraim, or Aphraim, a.k.a. Ephraim, or, yeah, it's spelled with an E in, this, in the a.k.a. part. Um, started out with a four-lettered name. Then Moshe changed it by adding one letter Yod <clears throat> to the beginning of his name. <clears throat> Concordance number 1954. He-U-Shin-A-N, Husha, rendered in the KJV as Hoshea. Deuteronomy 32-44 and Oshea at Numbers 13-16. Concordance number 3091. <clears throat> Yod he u shin a n. Equals y plus husha. This is found 216 times, rendered in the KJV as Joshua. In another two instances, in all of scripture, it is spelled Yod he u shin u a n or Yahushua. 
in one place, it is spelled Yod Shin U Ayin. Nehemiah or Nehemiah 8.17. Number of occurrences in the Hebrew text. <clears throat> now please listen closely, the few people that have spoken against this. And watch this table here. And these Hebrew letters right here were found on the commandment stones written in Yahuwah's finger. Yo, or no, no, sorry. That's not in this table. I apologize. Yod, hey, ooh, hey is found on the commandment stones. Um, I was always taught that Yeshua was all, another way to say, may his name be blotted out. But it says in here that Yeshu means may his name be blotted out. So I might be wrong. But it says that 28 times Yeshua was found in the Hebrew text. Yahushua was found only two times, but that was at Deuteronomy 3.21 and Judges 2.7. And then Yahusha was found 216 times. At Zechariah 3, the high priest is identified as Yahusha. I'm going to show this table for a minute here so that everybody can see. The true name of our Savior. <clears throat> An interesting verse pertaining to the name change of this son of none is at Numbers 13.16. And the traditional KJV translation and concordance numbers are shown for your research ease. These, 428, are the names, 8034, of the men, 376, which, 834, Moses, 4872, sent, 7971, to spy out, 8446, <clears throat> 853, the land, 776, and Moses, 4872, called 72, or 7121, sorry, O'Shea, 1954, the son, 1121, of none, 5126, Joshua, 3091. I apologize if this hits some people hard that have been in my comments recently, but I, I, I'm going to have to break it to you this way because this book has a lot of truth in it and the author of this book is very wise. Um, there was never a J-E-S-U-S -S in existence. The only J-E-S-U-S's in existence are, exist today, um, and they probably are from a Latin country or from Spain or Mexico. And they pronounce their names as Jesus. That sounds like Hail Zeus. The Hebrew root Yasha means to deliver. <clears throat> and is the root of the name of the son of Nun, Husha. Concordance number 1954. In two places, we see the letter U-A-U, -U, which has the U, the O-O -O sound, between the Shin A-N, at the end of the name. The modification Moshe made to, to his name was the addition of the letter Yod causing the name Husha to become Yahusha, meaning Yah is our deliverer. <clears throat> the Mashiach and the son of Nun have identical spellings. Concordance number 3091 above, as is evidenced by the fact that their spellings use the same Greek letters, i.e. Seuss, word Concordance number 2424. <clears throat> Reference to the man named Joshua is found in only two places in the Nazarene writings. Acts 745 and Hebrews 48. Um, Acts 745 <clears throat> 
which 3739, also 2532, our 2257, fathers 3962, that came after 1237, brought in 1521, with 3326, Joshua 2424, into 1722, the 3588, possession 2697, of the 3588 Gentiles 1484. Um, Hebrews 4 8. Um, I can put the words down in the bottom in the description box. Just let me know in the comments. I'm just going to read this how it, how it says it. For if Joshua had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. Many transliterations of Mashiach's name are used among the most popular of them are Yahushua, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yahushua, Yahushua, and Yahusha. <clears throat> His name is identical to the Hebrew spelling of the man called Joshua, whose name was originally spelled as above but without the letter Yod at the beginning. Moshe added the Yod to his name, which was originally Husha, He U Shin A N. Acts 7 and Hebrews 4, the same Greek letters are found, i.e., Seuss, a change, not a justification. The letter W did not exist on earth until the 13th century, so it is impossible for it to be used honestly in the name. Yahuwah, Yod, He, U, He, no letter W in the name. Yahushua, Shua or Sha comes from the root. Yasha means to deliver. Shua and Sha mean the same thing, to deliver. Yahusha, Yod, He, U, Shin, A, N. Yahushua would be spelled Yod, He, U, Shin, U, A, N. <clears throat> Yahusha and Yahushua both can mean Yah is our deliverer. Al alternately, I am your deliverer. Yeshua Yod Shin U A N once found at Nechemiah 817. There is a man named Shua at 1 Chronicles 2 3. Concordance number 7770. Spelled Shin U A N. Another word is Malkishua. Malkishua. Okay. Um, oh, they have it. How to pronounce it is in parentheses. Sorry. Malkishua. Okay. And found at 1 Samuel 30, 31 2, concordance number 4444, with the ending Shin U A N. In 216 places out of 218, there is no letter U-A-U or U used between the Shin A-N in the name for the successor of Moshe, but there is a U-A-U or an U following the letter He, so Yahusha is the preferred way of rendering the name in English. The same Shin A-N is seen in Alisha or Alisha. The letter U, U-A-U, has been very mysterious for many people for a very long time. It gives the meaning of our or your <clears throat> to a word. Our father is the meaning of Abinu. The U-A-U or the U is often a connective as we might use and or also. In the Hebrew word abinu, u-a-u, or the u, is a suffix modifying the word. Another suffix found at the end of a word is the letter yod, meaning my. The word rabbi means my exalted one. The letter u-a-u is traditionally known as wa, w-a-w, the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, or alphabet. Consider how the prophet Isaiah or Isaiah was expressed in the KJV. <clears throat> Common form Isaiah, 
English, Yasha Yahu. Alicia with an E or Alicia with an A. Alishua or Alishua or Elijah or Aliyahu. And then the Hebrew is underneath. And then Yasha, Hebrew root for deliverance. BYNB translation restores these names. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Okay. Um, we have two more pages here to go. Um, I hope this video isn't too long for you guys. Um, I just want to get this lesson all into one, all packed into one, because it all goes together. Yahushua is seen twice out of 219 times in the Tanakh. Yahushua and Yahusha are acceptable transliterations. At Nechemiah 817, the hypo hypocharisma or short form, Yeshua is used. This spelling is the only time we find this in scripture. Hypocharisma, a diminutive form for a name. Mel, short for Melvin or Melinda, Mick, Mike for Michael, Joe for Joseph, originally was Yusef, not Joseph, because there was no J. Yahushua and Yahusha, the endings Shua and Sha, both contain the root Yasha, meaning deliverance. Both spellings Yahushua and Yahusha are found in the inspired text. The two uses of this six-lettered spelling, Yahushua, are found at Deuteronomy 3.21 and Judges 2.7. Both variations in spelling are found in these books. In these two books, the name was written with only one U-A-U, U, in the following ratios. Deuteronomy or Devarim 7 to 1. <clears throat> Seven times we find... We find Yod He U Shin Ayin Yahusha. Once it is Yod He U Shin U Ayin Yahushua. Judges five to one. Five times we find Yod He U Shin Ayin Yahusha. And that really flows and really it feels right. Once once it is Yod He U Shin U A N, Yahushua. Overall ratio 216 to 2. 216 times Yod He U Shin A N, Yahusha. Two times Yod He U Shin U A N, Yahushua. Both are seen used in scripture, so either is acceptable. It's a mistake to believe the vowel pointing or nikud of the Masoretes, Karite traditionalists, is without flaw. They worked from the 7th to the 11th centuries on vowel points to establish a uniform pronunciation, permanently fixing, steering, or directing the utterance of certain vowels to mislead us. This was to assure the name Yahuwah would never be pronounced precisely or correctly. They were about 2,300 years removed in time from Moshe, or Moses, to, to the Christians. So the, their vowel pointing work had to involve guesswork. We can't be sure how Shakespearean era English actually sounded 400 years ago. In studying the Mashiach's true name, a great text to examine closely in Zechariah 3, the Hebrew word, concordance number 3091, used in these texts is Yahusha. Below we see the KJV concordance numbers embedded in the traditional text to help identify each word. Zechariah 3.1. And I'll just show the page to you guys so you guys can see the concordance numbers here. I don't know if you guys can see them. Um... And he showed, which is 7200, me, 853, Joshua, the high priest standing before the angel, 
of the LORD and Satan, which that concordance number is 7854, standing at his right hand to resist him. Concordance number 3091 should be Yahusha, meaning Yahuwah is our deliverer, or further, I am your deliverer. Concordance number 3068 should be Yahuwah. L-O-R-D is Baal. B-A-A-L. That is a demonic pagan name. Translators have modified the original Hebrew text with words filtered through Latin and Greek to arrive at our English. The term angel seen above, which is not English but Greek, is an example of this. The rendering Joshua is only a couple of steps away from the better transliteration Yahusha, but they completely obliterated, annihilated the name Yahuwah when they substituted the letters L-O-R-D. In Hebrew is Baal, B-A-A-L. If they will lie about the name of the one we serve, then they will lie about anything. This information is bound to be painful to those who have never been told the truth. The Greek or Latin forms have no bearing on the authenticity of Yahusha's original true Hebrew name. Evidence must be based on Hebrew, not Greek, Swahili, or Latin. One cannot explain Chinese with Spanish, so we should not use Greek and Latin to explain Hebrew. Even though the Septuagint uses the Greek letters i.e. Seuss, we have to realize their reason for i.e. Su rather than i.a. Husa was to keep the name Yah from being pronounced. And there is no deliverance in anyone else, for there is no other name under Shamayim or heaven given among men by which we need to be delivered. Acts 4.12 BYND Then shall those who fear Yahuwah will speak to one another, and Yahuwah will listen and hear, and a book of remembrance be written before him of those who fear Yahuwah and those who think upon his name. Malachi 3.16 Listen to me, you who know uprightness, a people in whose heart is my Torah. Do not fear the reproach of men, nor be afraid of their revilings. Yahshua Yahu Isaiah 51.7 This is written for a generation to come, so that a people to be created praise Yah. Tehillim Psalms 102.18 This book says we are to never speak the name. Man's word. Tradition. This book says we are to proclaim the name. Yahuwah's word. The Torah. In the third commandment, <clears throat> where we are shown how the name of Yahuwah is to be honored and never distorted or expunged or circumlocuted or talked around or laid waste or ruined, if we lose one commandment, it is like the woman losing one of her ten silver coins. Luke 15. We must repent and obey all ten of the, the precious Aseret Ha Dabarim, the ten words, commands, instructions, which carry the penalty of death if violated. If you believe you can live your life ignoring them, consider Proverbs 28 9 says, He that turns his ear away, from listening to the Torah, even his prayer is an abomination. You do not take the name of Yahuwah, your Allahim, in vain, for Yahuwah will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. Exodus 20, dot, dot, 7. The literal trans translation of this is more clearly translated this way. You do not bring the name of Yahuwah, your Allahim, to destruction. For Yahuwah does not leave the one unpunished who brings his name to destruction. Exodus 20. Dot, dot, 7. The dictionary definition for vain, V A I N, ineffectual or unsuccessful, futile, a vain effort, 
without significance, value, or importance. Baseless or worthless. Vain. Vain is different from the meaning conveyed by the original Hebrew text. The inspired Hebrew word which we translate the word vain from is shin u aleph, shua, or more commonly expressed as showa. The ending letter aleph makes this different from the shua meaning. Deliverance, which uses the letter an in the Hebrew, shin u an. This is a homonym when words have the same sound but different meanings. Some homonyms are even spelled the same. Um, shua, concordance, or Shoa, sorry, Shoa, S H O A H, concordance number 7724. And this is the definition of it in Hebrew devastation, ruin, lay waste. Destroy. So to destroy, omit, miss, ob ob obfuscate, circumlocate, substitute, shun, destroy, deny, change, ruin, lay waste is what Shoah means. Yahusha answered them. More on Yahusha below. Destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. Destroy, Shoa, Temple, Hekal. The Yahudim replied, it, w it has taken 46 years to build this temple and you're going to raise it in three days? They were in disbelief. But the temple he has spoken of was his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he had said. Then they believed the scripture and the words that Yahusha had spoken. John Yehukanen 2, 1, 9 through 22. Next time we will be reading the name Yahuwah, yod heh uh -Heh. And who are the Nazarene? Got yoke? A yoke is a teaching. Consider the source of everything you are practicing. Um... And we're going to be reading about Jerome and Natsari and Yermiyahu. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson tonight. I know it was quite long. I apologize for that. Um, it's just um, I'm not. I might not be able to do um, a video tomorrow. Um, my husband, um, he his, he's in a very very amazing mood, and um, he wants to. Um, to be spontaneous and go and move to my place. So I'm very excited. Um, we have a lot to do tomorrow. So I am, I am so, so excited. Oh. And um, whenever I read about Yahuwah's name being destroyed, it almost brings me to tears. And I apologize if my voice kind of messed up a little bit. But now it's time to praise the name Yahuwah. But it is late. It is 10 o'clock here at Eastern Time. So I have to be very quiet. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Ruach HaKodesh Baruch Sorry <clears throat> It's very hard for me to sing a higher note when I have to sing pretty quiet 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahuwah, if you're new and you don't know any of this yet. Um, I love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abu Yahuwah and the Shamayim loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Everyone, Iber Tov. Good evening.